Welcome to our live training session. We're gonna learn how to calibrate and tune a Honda Civic Si using a Max ECU race standalone system. Let's jump into some details about our vehicle. Now our Honda Civic Si has had an engine swap performed to it. We have a K24 engine and a six speed transmission that's been swapped into our chassis. The K24 engine was rebuilt before it was swapped in. We have 12 and a half to one, forged aftermarket pistons and connecting rods that have been installed. We have upgraded valve train. We have a type S oil pump and a 50 degree VTC gear along with stock OEM K20 cams that have all been assembled for our engine. Now on the intake side of things, we have a skunk two intake and a skunk two cast throttle body along with a custom intake. And on the exhaust side of things, we have a header back exhaust. Fuel system, we have RDX 410cc injectors. We have a drop-in DW fuel pump along with a flex fuel sensor. In addition to this, we've wired in a fuel pressure sensor so we can monitor what our fuel pressure is doing during the tuning process. We're gonna learn how to calibrate and tune this on both petrol and on ethanol-based fuels using the flex fuel feature with our MAC system. We have a lot to cover here. Let's jump in so we can check out how to set up and tune our K24 engine with our MAX ECU. Welcome to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Civic Si. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our Max ECU software so we can begin creating our base map to start our calibration process. Now the base map calibration, base map setup process is something you have to do on every application you're gonna be working with with the Max ECU. The calibration file is what we communicate and we upload to the Max and we uh, go and do our tuning in. That has to be set up specific to the engine and the wiring details for the project that we're trying to control. So if we don't have our inputs and outputs configured properly, if we don't have our trigger pattern set up properly, the Max will not control the engine properly. So we need to go and take care of the fundamentals here in this tutorial, setting up the inputs and outputs. The next tutorial will jump into setting up our two-dimensional and three-dimensional tables for things like fuel, spark, variable cam control. There's a lot of details to cover in a base map calibration process, especially for a K-series engine. Uh, so we wanna make sure we're breaking this up into two parts so it's more manageable, more digestible to watch all the details that I'm covering here. So you may not be controlling and tuning a K-series engine, but the process, the, the uh, steps in order to create the base file, they're gonna be the same regardless of whatever engine or wiring configuration you're trying to, to work with here with your Max, it's really going to be the process and the steps you need to pay attention to. Now I will have this base map or the map, I should say, the tune map, the final map available in the Max Training Course folder once we have completed all of the training tutorials here. So you'll have that as a reference point if you have a Honda K-Series engine, you wanna do tuning with it, you'll have this just as a, a, a good reference point, a good base map that you can start off with here. So let's jump in here and take a look at creating our base file, setting up our inputs and outputs. Now a couple things here, I'm sitting in my vehicle right now, I have the ignition key powered on, I have the USB cable plugged into my Max race box, also plugged into my laptop. So I'm ready to go online with my Max. We can actually see here, the ECU is online already. We can go up here, we can see that we can disconnect from the ECU or reconnect to the ECU and get online. So we're online already, we're all ready to go in order to set up our inputs and outputs. Now the very first thing we need to do is take care of our most basic details, making sure that things like the number of cylinders and the engine displacement and the type of engine we're controlling, whether it's a two-stroke or a four-stroke or a rotary engine, are programs that's gonna be leading us in here to our configuration setting. So under our engine settings, under the engine settings tab right here, we need to go and make sure these details are correct. So engine type here, piston four stroke, that's exactly the type of engine we're controlling here for a Honda K-Series engine. The cylinder count is gonna be four cylinders. Now the engine displacement is not a 2000 cc, it's actually 2384 cc. This is an 87 and a half millimeter bore with a 99 mil stroke, so the engine was rebuilt. Slightly larger displacement than the stock K24 configuration from Honda, which is an 87 by 99 millimeter. So in this case, the engine displacement needs to be updated here to 2,384. Now one thing to note about this, um, I determined the engine displacement by using an online displacement calculator. So that's how we um, can go ahead and figure that out. Um, just for a point of reference, if you're wondering how I knew that off the top of my head, online calculators work fairly simple. So just look that up real quick, punched in the number of cylinders, the bore, the stroke, that's what I got for a value. Uh, the engine max crank RPM, that's 300 RPM, that's gonna be sufficient. Anything below this will be in our uh, cranking fuel, anything above this will be going into after start and into the normal engine run routine. So that's fine in terms of that threshold. Now the firing order here 
We have it set for one, three, four, two, and that's the firing order for our Honda K-Series engine, or most inline four-cylinder engine, so that looks good. The firing angle calculation will do automatic even fire. So uh, these details look like they're good. Um, let's go on here. Let's go through the configuration settings. There shouldn't be anything else in here we really need. To Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.